Hey guys, today's video is about central tendency. We'll start by looking at three basic statistical description, mean, median, and mode. All these properties are used to measure the center of data. Then we'll introduce how these properties link to the skewness. First, mean is the average of a data set. We divide the sum of all values by the number of data points. Say we have data 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The mean is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and divided by 5, which is the data size. We also have some mode version of mean. Weighted mean allows some values contribute more than the others. The firm formula is the sum of weighted values divided by the sum of weights. For instance, we have data 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Their corresponding weights are 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3. Then we just apply the formula. We sum up the weighted values in the numerator and divide the value by the sum of weights. So the weighted mean is 32 over 9. Weighted mean is useful in that it offers flexibility by allowing objects to have different importance. For instance, you might consider some people's answers are more reliable than the others and give them more weights when doing calculation. Another modified version of mean is trend mean. It's the traditional mean with a portion of its trend values removed. Say, we have data like this. Each bar represents the number of people responding to a certain answer. We can tell the majority of people answer 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Further, we may consider the people answering 1, 2, 8, and 9 as a string since their answers deviate from the remaining values. Don't get me wrong here, the minority might be important in some cases, it's just we sometimes remove extreme data to capture the general trend better as they may unfairly affect the traditional mean. Thus, we may generate data like this and apply the formula of traditional mean, that is, dividing the sum of values by the number of data points. Then, we move on to median. Median is the middle value of an ordered data set. Or the average of middle two values if the number of data points is even. If we have data 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, the median is the middle value 3. If the data is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, the median is the average of middle two values, 3 plus 4 divided by 2, which is 3.5. As mean, median also represents the center of data. However, median is less influenced by the extreme values since it only use ranking. To be more specific, no matter how small or how big are the extreme values, they only play the role of the smallest and largest values, and they do not participate in the calculation process. One disadvantage of median is the high computation cost. You have to order the whole data set and find the middlemost value, so the process is time consuming. Then, mode is the most commonly observed value in a data set. One thing to note is that the mode might not be unique. There can be many modes in a data set. For instance, if the data is 1, 2, 2, and 3, the mod is 2 since it appears twice while the other value only appears once. And we call the data with one mod unimodal, with two mods bimodal, with three mods trimodal. Mod is useful when measuring the central tendency of categorical data, such as hair color since it doesn't make sense to take average of categories or just order them. After discussing the basic statistics, we can now look at the skewness. Skewness is a distortion or asymmetry that deviates from the symmetric distribution. What is symmetric distribution? Symmetric distribution is the distribution where the left and right hand side around the mean are roughly equal. For instance, the normal and uniform distributions are symmetric, since the left and right parts of the distribution around the mean are mirror image. 
and one important characteristic of symmetric distribution is that the mean, median, and mode are equal. So, skewed distribution describes the asymmetric data and is the opposite of symmetric distribution. Let's look at these two skewed data. The one on the left-hand side is called positively skewed data, since the long tail skews to the right. And the data on the right-hand side is negatively skewed. Can you guess what these three color lines represent? The black line is mode, which is the most common data point. The red line is median. And the blue line is mean. Remember what we said before? The median is a better representation of the center of skewed distribution than the mean. We can see the mean is pulled toward the extreme values a lot, which form the long tail of the distribution. In fact, it doesn't matter whether you use mean, median, or mode if the distribution is symmetric. However, these statistics differ a lot in a skewed distribution. Although each statistic has their use, median is generally preferred due to its unbiased nature. Last question, why do we care about skewness? A lot of statistical tests assume the data to be normally distributed, and normal distribution is a type of symmetric distribution. The skewed data doesn't meet the assumption and may not be valid for some analysis. However, we typically accept the slight skewness since the data is not perfect and small degree of bias is tolerable. In fact, we can compare the mean, median, and mode to know whether a distribution is roughly symmetric. While there is a lot of methods to mathematically calculate the skewness, all right, that's the basic idea about central tendency and skewness. Hope you enjoyed today's video and see you next time.